Hi guys, welcome to this new video series. In this series, we are going to cover the basics of ORM and some advanced concepts of ORM in Django. So this is part one video and in this video, I'm going to explain the project and the models that I have created that will be used in the entire video. So let's get started. First of all, we have created a project called as SRC and inside SRC, we have an app called as demo and this is nothing fancy. I have used uh, these plugins that is Django. 4.1.2 Django REST framework toolbar pillow and mysql so i have already configured the django toolbar django rest framework and everything so first we'll try to explore the models.py so in models uh, we have all the necessary models required and my idea is to create a blog post and that has some categories and then it might have some comments likes so i'll explain you all the models now first of all we have status text choices there are three types of status which post can have that is draft mode publish mode and archive mode then we have category model which consists of title slug field and description then our main model that is post model okay any post will be some author that is some user then uh, we have title that is character field and it should be unique uh, slug field then there should be some summary content then we have status uh, that choices we have already defined on top then we can have some images you all can use the image wherever required i've just made a field then we have category and category is interestingly many to many field because a post can belong to many categories then we have views or like how many views any post has then created on and updated on in comment model we have post uh, as foreign key then we have author that is any comment will be made by any user then we have text okay and then we have approved comment this is a boolean field whether it is approved or not then created date and updated on and finally we have our last model that is like so here user and post are the only two fields and this will store like which user has liked which post then after models.py i have already registered all of the models in admin.py so if we go to the admin side uh, all the models are registered over here and by the way you all can check the code on the github the link is given in the description then after that i have already set up the serializers for all the models nothing fancy just model serializers are there for all the models then if you go to views.py i am actually coding it right now for the tutorial so that's why all the codes are visible otherwise you all will have just skeleton code okay with model view set then if we go to urls.py we have our routers and which is assigned to URL patterns. So because of that, we are able to access uh, on the home page all these endpoints. Okay, and to show you all what I meant over here is all the lessons are in different branches. And this is the main one that is like lesson number zero or uh, this current video. And if we go inside SRC demo and views.py, we can see this is what I was talking about only model view set. So this is our Django project that I have configured and will be used for this entire series. In the settings.py for the database, as you all can see uh, in the current lesson that is lesson number 12, I have already changed it to MySQL, but previously I was using this SQL light. But in some filters, this SQL light started giving me a lot of problems. So because of that, I shifted to MySQL. So it is recommended for you all either to use MySQL for this entire series or to use Postgres. So that's it guys for this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share and see you in the next video.